Ladies, ladies, ladies. Jay and Silent Bob is in the, his house. Ooh. What's going on, everybody? We are back for another episode of Jedi Academy. We have a few topics to hit tonight. We are going to talk about the Bad Batch news, new episode. Um, we are also going to talk about uh, Ahsoka, a little bit about Ahsoka, uh, Star Wars Celebration, and Mando. Mando, Mando, Mando. Uh, next week, first episode. Ready. Guys, we are so excited. Noah, Taiwan, what we got? So, uh, Noah, you go first because I, I will try and keep my rant after <laughs> yours. Very, very um, no, I like I said, I, I don't. Are we talking about the episode first? No? Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and hop into it. Man. I get yeah, that it was the wrap up. The I guess that was yep. a good wrap up of the previous. Like we knew it had to end and get wrapped up, whatever. But yep. I love the artwork style. Don't get me wrong. And there were a couple things I did like about it, but I just. It feels like in the first season we had that build up to the end, and here it just seems like a bunch of mini episodes, mini maybe story arcs. I just want the same build up. And yeah. I want to know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm fucking tired of being clueless. Like I'm so fucking over not understanding where they're going with this fucking season. Like it's just it's baffling. Like can you yeah. just? Take a direction. And you want to know what I really thought? I really thought Crosshair was going to steal the fucking ship. I, like, tie something to fucking gather. Please, for the love of God. Uh, this is episode right, 10, what right? Are you yes, about, 10. What are you there about? is six episodes left. And coherent story, we only have maybe about three to four episodes of coherent story. Nothing. I don't and understand. Nothing. There's the one cool scene in this whole entire. There's one cool scene in this whole yeah. entire show episode, and that's pretty much it for me. What scene? Um, I did. I, I like when she gets, or when she um, kind of pulls the robot off of the ledge with her as she's falling. And I will say there was another shoots. scene I liked with her when she just like, you know, when they let the dudes go. Uh, mm -hmm. Or that one kid, like, kind of escape and Wrecker knocks him off and then she comes. I like the scene where she just pulls back and, like, you, that oh, was yeah. a kind of a moment where you were just like, that's badass. She's coming into herself a bit. The, you know what I'm saying? I will say yeah. those two moments showed her being yeah, a bit but not more enough to it's like where but, it's like, I know where yeah. the story's going. No, 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 no. 100%. I was just saying for her, right, like, right. in that moment, it yeah, was yeah. just. The robot oh, yeah, yeah, designs yeah, I, like I thought were pretty cool of, of the battle droids yeah, that the guy. I, I don't know them. that I've seen those kinds before, you know? I, no. I don't know if we They kind of look like the ninja ones, but they're yeah, not. Yeah, the yes, assassin the ones. Yeah, the I assassin kind of ones, enjoy, but they're not. One thing I've kind of enjoyed are the different um, droids we've been introduced to. Yeah. Like, you know, that's that's been mm -hmm. kind of cool. You know, it's upside. I mean, um, yeah, because you got to think it's towards the end of this, you know, the Separatist rule, all these battle droids and different yeah, robots but, are now coming out of commission cool. yeah. one thing that clone wars did like let's say it was a dry episode they would always do like 10 seconds of something like a cliffhanger of like something that you'd hope they would go over in the next well, episode not even that the great thing like about clone here. wars and i yeah no but the great thing about clone wars and i think what tied clone wars together even like you said with filler episodes was there's the that guy that would come that, on. Yeah. Well, that, but there was the guy that would come on in the beginning and be like, this is what happened last time. And now oh, this yeah, is what's the happening voice next. of the you guy that's like, so in the Republic. The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> even if the stories didn't really, like, go together, per se, we at least knew where we were in the story yeah. line. Do you know what I mean? Where now it's just like, there's no story. There's just, this is the next random yeah. mission they're going on. It's like, yeah. okay, but what does it tell us? I was the really only hoping... thing I got out of this episode is at some point they're going to need a thief. Yeah, That's the only thing I got out of this episode. Because he's like, if you ever need a thief, I owe you one. Well, that's obviously coming back. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just very not great storytelling from somebody that I expected a little more from. Uh, I, will, I will be honest. I, don't mean I was at the edge of my seat way, waiting I, for I still that, trust like... him, Filoni, but... He's not hitting that. He's yeah. his writers are not hitting it this year, this this season, and he's letting a lot of things slip through the cracks that I think normally he wouldn't. I think he might be. What were you hanging on the right seat now. for, Noah? 
I was hanging at the edge of my seat because I'm oh, like, sorry, okay, yeah. we're ten episodes in. I was hoping that we'd get the like maybe Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> Or like, I was hoping maybe we'd yeah, get some I'm more good. of the, the the Senate stuff, you know, like just yeah. maybe incorporate mm -hmm. that some more. Or Sid, like you know, we don't see who she's talking. But like, I guess we gotta kill them off now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you right, know what right. I mean? But nothing. there's so there's I so many of those characters <laughs> that are just they have like great potential, but you you've introduced like what Gungi. Um, we've seen Chi Chi. Um, we've seen what was yeah. it, Rex. Um, n now we have this thief. Like you have like all these characters, and it's like, what are you introducing them for if you're yeah. not going to at least bring one of them back in another episode? And I like you said, we've ten episodes in, and you've got like four to five characters that we just don't know how much they're involved in the story. We don't know where the yep. story is going and just what direction they want to go with. Because there's honestly a bunch of different storylines and there's nothing that ties them that together. Ties As them of, together. I mean, like, yeah. does anyone see anything? Like, am I the only one? Only thing I'm seeing is that they can push it off as it's uh, giving character development to some of the Bad Batch and... Uh, character development for Amiko, which, I mean, I guess you can argue. It, it's valid enough to argue that, but just for us who are diehard fans, I don't think it's enough, you know? Yeah. I, don't, I love it. I love the character design. I love everything about it. Just the storytelling just yeah, misses the mark for me. No, for sure. 100% agree. Don? Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, guys. I mean, unless we really have anything really else to say about this episode, I, I'm nope. I'm over it honestly at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um, we can move on to other news. I was gonna say it next yeah. week. Next week, I think yeah. it's something that's gonna come out and trump the Bad Batch altogether. Yes. Well, first, I want to talk about this. So apparently, Rosario Dawson was talking, and she said that we are looking at fall. That and not only that, but Haunted Mansion is coming out before Ahsoka. When Haunted was the Mansion original right release now date? is we everybody thought it was June or July. That's at least what everybody thought it was. I don't know where that exactly came from. I can't say that I know where it came from, but everybody that I watch and listen to, that's what they've always said is June, July is what they've heard. Mm -hmm. So why but now we're talking sorry. What's that? I say, why do you no, think it's being pushed back? Well, she said it is. She said it's it's coming out after Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is coming out she, in August. Did she say this in an uh, interview? It was an interview, yeah. Oh, okay. It's on, uh, pull, pull it up. Pull it up on uh, Star Wars Newsnet, man. On your screen. Do you think, pull that do you think they're doing it because they don't want to compete with Haunted Mansion? Do what? They don't want to what? Do you think they're pushing it back because they don't want to compete with like having two films like compete with each other, uh, or like two. I Disney can't imagine Disney shows or I mean, products. Yeah, Disney might Disney mm -hmm. might feel that way, but I can't imagine where Star Wars is going. Um, Haunted Mansion over Ahsoka. Yeah, Care about Haunted Man. Nobody cares about Haunted Mansion. Come on, the big money yeah. right there is Ahsoka, not Haunted Mansion. I don't care even for Disney. They can't believe that Haunted Mansion is going to be a bigger pull than Ahsoka. I mean, come on. There's no way they can believe is that. Is Haunted Mansion a movie or is it a short series? Apparently, no, it's a series. Apparently, yeah. Hmm. I did. I thought, but I guess I, she's in it. So, hmm. oh, yeah. I mean, it's awesome. not. Again, it doesn't sound bad. It's not that it sounds bad or anything. It sounds fine. It sounds like it might be good, but compared to Ahsoka, I just can't imagine they really believe that that's going to be a strong. I mean, unless they really believe in it. I mean, they might. Who knows? Maybe it's that good. Maybe ah. it's their Wednesday. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Mansion, you know, it might be. Yeah. Or yeah, it, they it might. What be. they might be doing is we're gonna put that out right before we put out Ahsoka, which everyone's gonna love mm -hmm. Ahsoka, and they're gonna test run this in case maybe if case it doesn't work out, they have Ahsoka to pull up right after that and just be like, well, yeah, here's yeah. our next hit with Rosaria Dawson. Right. So I don't know exactly when it's coming out, August or September, but I'm going to assume right around that time because I'm going to 
I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they want skeleton crew to come out probably January, February now. Maybe even late December. <clears throat> because that was supposed to be coming out around October, they said this year. But I can't imagine it's going to now. It's not going to overlap with Soka. So no, I don't think so. They're going to have to push that now, too. So we shall see at Celebration, I think, is what. You have said um, celebration, and Don, please, please explain yes. what what you are talking about, good sir. So, Star Wars Celebration is their version of Comic Con, and it's but it's only Star Wars. All Star Wars, all day. All the panels are Star Wars. Everything is about Star Wars. Are we and it's, and it's a yearly days. thing they do, right? It's, it's a yearly days. thing. It's do. every other year. It's every, every other year. year. So when are they doing? Them, well, that's the thing. They have now announced since they are doing it this year and they did it last year and it was yeah. supposed to be 2021, not 2022 because of the pandemic. They had to push it back to 2022. Uh -huh. It will be 2025 before, before we, we have another before. celebration. But here's the thing. And this is exciting. This is exciting, at least for me and uh, Mr. Frito down there. No. Last time... It, when I went to it in 17, it was in Orlando. Then it was in Anaheim. Then it was in London. That is the rotation. Orlando. So well, Orlando is next. Orlando is next, technically, on the rotation. Do you think it's going to happen in 2025? It fucking better. And if it, it does, listen. If it does, are, are call it right here. I'm calling it right show? here. Uh, yes, 100%. I am calling it right okay, here. Perfect. If it happens perfect. 2025... Noah, I don't care what we have to do. I will sell a kidney. We are getting you <laughs> down here. We are doing a that live. Part, I will not. No, 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 I am. <laughs> we are uh, getting you here. Ticket. I will buy your plane all ticket, doing I will this. not sell a kidney. <laughs> we are all doing this. That would no, be I mean, amazing. Look, I would love to go again. I already, my wife already knows when it's in Orlando, I'm getting a four day VIP pass. It's not even a question. It's going to happen day one. So <laughs> I am hoping it is in Orlando in 2025. Yes. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for this year because being that they're, they are going to wait two more years now before we get another one, we're getting movies announced in this one. That's exciting. For sure. There's no way they're going to go two years without announcing a, a movie, and they're not going to do oh, it yeah. not at a celebration. Oh, the yeah. only other place they could do it is like D23 or something like that, or you know, Marvel uh, or nah. Comic Con. But yeah, they Maybe want they're going to want to do it. But I think they would do it at their celebration. Yep. So I think we're going to get maybe one, possibly two or three movie announcements. It's it's been six years since we've gotten a Star Wars movie. Twenty seventeen yep. was the last one. Well, all the rumors say twenty twenty five. There's a movie coming out. That is that is uh, the biggest rumor right now for Star Wars, and it's supposedly David Lindelof, and it's supposedly after Episode Nine. But it is not uh, Episode Ten. It is not yeah. Episode Ten. So what will it be? They have confirmed that. They, they're not doing episode 10, 11. It is not happening. They've already said it. So they're going it, with a whole well, other storyline? I thought it was a High Republic. He says, no. High Republic film. No, Dave, Lindelof, okay. no, Dave Lindelof has said that it's going to be after episode 9, and it's going to be, um, well, here's the other thing. So a few, like about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, Daisy Ridley was at Lucasfilm. And we all know she plays right. Yeah. yeah. So, with him saying what he has said about this movie, and with her now going back to Lucasfilm and having meetings, does that mean she's in this movie? Is she in this movie? And does she come I out of celebration? That's so. even. I Do mean, you if think she's going. Her? I would like a redeeming. Do you know what? Yeah. But I want so bad. Okay, so here's the image. She comes out on stage after he announces the movie and she's going to be in it. And she's dressed in her Jedi robe or her Jedi outfit at the end of the movie. But mm -hmm. she has Piccolo's white cloak on her. 
and she just walks out on stage, just dope as shit. Like, stop everybody from back. Stop. What's up? <laughs> so I love that move. If anybody does that move, it's just so gangster. Yeah. Stop. Back. But yeah, no. Like, I just want her to come out. I don't know why. I picture her in Piccolo's cape, but Piccolo's white cape, all white cape. I don't know just why. Just tosses it to the side. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Thud. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. His weighted cloak, yeah. So that's what I see. That's what I see happening. It's never going to happen, but it is what I want to happen more than anything. Because I actually do love Ray. I think she was a good character. I think she was horribly used and horribly written for. But she was actually a really good character. See, if, like, that's the thing. At the end. With those movies, Ray, Poe, Finn, um, who else? I, to be honest, those are my top three that just had, like, they were great characters, just poorly uh, finished, I would say. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about you, Noah? What do you think, man? Are you excited for Ahsoka? Are you excited for Celebration? Uh, yeah, no, I'm excited. Um, I... I I had very negative opinions of the sequels other than just oh, I love the visuals. Oh, we all do, dude. Don't worry about that. That's <laughs> but no, I'm, here I'm excited. Ahsoka, <laughs> I think, like, man, I really just want to see Thrawn back on the big screen, man. Like, like he was, when he Absolutely, was in Rebels, man. he was yeah, one of my favorite. He was just so menacing, like, just, I don't know. It's it's we haven't had, it. we haven't had a we're good... Getting it. Bad. I mean, look at the bad they gave us in this week's episode of the Bad Batch. I'm like, yeah, he looked scary-ish, but yeah, but know. like he had the droids doing all his heavy lifting. He wasn't really a bad guy. Like he was just yeah. manipulating children. It's, like it's you're just a horrible because person. <laughs> yeah, like that's not. You're not a bad guy. But it's hard because we've already had Boba Fett, Darth Vader, uh, Darth Maul. Dooku, yeah. but it's not hard. Palpatine, it's but that's not what I'm saying, hard. though, dude. It it's hard in this universe to live up to them. It's not just even just like Marvel that's has the same point. problem with Thanos. It's, Marvel it's, has the same but, problem with Thanos. But you can create a good warlord. I feel like you know. Oh, that's I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's hard in this universe when we've had some really great villains. And, and right. I don't think that they would give that's us one I mean. just because they're trying to make it kid friendly. Like you won't see a a like warlord that's just like everyone just slaves. There's people like, I mean, but you could hint at it like they're being tortured in the background or, or whatever. One hundred percent. Um, and there's yeah. some like crisis that our heroes have to rise up to and 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 some reward or or lesson they learn along yeah. the way. Just but there's droid tor- there's droid <laughs> torture in the fr- in the first trilogy in the original trilogy when they in uh-huh. uh, on Bespin. In Cloud City, when they have all the droids in that back closet area and the, the ones upside down and like burnt feet of it and stuff, marking it like they, it's they just a, it's, all the this is so just like. a different, um, <laughs> I think it's just a different time we're in. And you know, some what used to fly in, in the old Star Wars shows and movies oh, no yeah. longer does it. And I think, yeah, I think with this show, particularly, like from what we've seen, it's definitely catering towards the younger audience. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I'm 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 excited that. for more Ahsoka and um Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think it's gonna be like super dark, but I think it'll be darker Orlando. only because dude. Is that is it confirmed? In the next no, 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 no. I'm not I'm just I'm speeding oh, it into okay. existence. I was gonna say, don't don't do that to me. But with Mandalorian, it's I was gonna say don't do that to me because I will literally buy my ticket right now. I don't care. Because Go it's ahead. not hard to show blaster damage, you know, but it's much harder. I feel like yeah, to yeah. show like more physical damage to a person or a character in a story. Yeah. By Disney. <laughs> so. Sure. Sure. Well, no, I mean, let's get right into that. So the, the last thing I wanted to talk about was Mandalorian season three. I mean, it's coming character out next week. Lines. First yeah. episode. Um, one thing that Disney has been real is their trailers only show us the first episode, maybe a little bit of the second episode. So everything we've got so far from Mando is more than likely in the first two episodes, right? Is it, does it, would everybody agree with that? I think that's yes. fair to track, yeah. 
So what do we, I mean, just think about that. Everything that we are, almost everything we've got could be from the first two episodes and we're getting at least eight episodes. I mean, that's what the first two seasons were. So I would assume it's going to be the same thing. Either eight, maybe 10 if they decide to, but probably eight. So first two episodes, we've seen pretty good amount of stuff already. Yeah. And I mean, stuff that I'm super excited about. I'm a Mandalorian fan just in general. But what does that mean for the coming? I mean, they have six other episodes, apparently. We haven't seen a piece of anything from yet. That's pretty crazy to think about, and considering how hype I am for just these trailers we've got so far. <laughs> like, what do you think, though, about I mean, this every, season? Everything that? we've seen has been absolutely amazing. The way they've shown the glass planet already, just from the little glimpses that we've seen. I am so yeah. hyped to see what that planet and how that's like civilization has been after it's been glassed and all that. Like, it, I think that's going to yeah. be such a crazy aspect and how they do it and incorporate everything that's happened since then. I, I can't wait. Just seeing the way some of the characters have already interacted, it's just going to be really nice. And we all know there's going to be a lot of controversy around that dark saber. And really hope the Mythosaur makes an appearance. But it's been like, because they're all coming back to Mandalore. Because like no one is better, supposed dude, to be on Mandalore, right? Right, Don? Like it's been decimated. No one's living there, right? It's uh, been well, years since. Eddie yeah, the way. There. Yeah, he referenced it, I think, in last season where he said to uh, Bo Katan something like, um, everybody knows it's glass now. You can't even go there or something like that. But I think that's a lie that uh, his cult told them told themselves or told them so they wouldn't go back i think that's what that's i think be, yeah basically is don't get me wrong i'm pretty but sure yeah, the whole he, planet was well, yes. fucked and got fucked but i i guarantee there is still a civilization there somewhat there is still people yeah. who have maybe either survived or left and came back afterwards and have just been living there like i 100 percent think there's going to be some kind of a civilization Mm-hmm. I'm excited for all the character designs. Like maybe we see like different factions of Mandalorians, like different armor designs. Like oh, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. more are more ju- judicial. Maybe some more are, like more aggressive, and it's a reflective of of their armor and and everything. And I'm I'm excited. Yeah, a hundred percent. I I really feel like it's gonna be great. Dude, to see please give me that. Armors. Give me the different <laughs> houses. Like this is my Game of Thrones. The right Game here, of Thrones, yeah. And they and they this could is all my, this is it. because you know Dude, they're all proud. It's literally, literally proud just like that. Yeah. God, they could if do you, that. They could set it up right here in this season, and then do a spinoff show where they just explain everything oh, that has happened afterwards. Me, dude. And then, oh, oh dude, me. yeah, that would be so fucking tight. You could you could Should take you the. Imagine. I've been saying it for years, dude. A Game of Thrones style Mandalorian show would destroy if they did it right. If they did it right, it would destroy. Oh that yeah, would you could amazing. even do it in the Bad Batch like artwork style. Like just you could just you could do many seasons oh, no, of the lie. history no, of no, Mandalorian. I'm... Nope. Sorry. No, I want I want live action. If you're gonna do Mandalorians, you do it live action. I'm sorry. I've got enough in Rebels. Enough of their backstory from <laughs> Rebels and cartoon. Now, I want I want Bo-Katan, I want Katie Sackhoff destroying people. That's what she does best as Bo-Katan. I can't wait for this season, dude. I, I literally, like, this is probably the most anticipated, or like, the most I've ever wanted to watch something ever, except for I don't even know, maybe first season? <laughs> like, maybe first season was close to this but this is like the season for me can't wait for this man I, i'm such a huge mandalorian fan so i love this um anything else you guys want to uh, touch on real quick no oh, bring up the doing... posters for yeah, the new mandalorian like, I wanted oh to no, do no, no yeah, 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 yeah for sure i'm sorry i was i was no you're good at, man uh star wars celebration i was trying to find some anything i could see <laughs> So I really like these posters. I, I did look at them earlier. So yeah, uh, we got the first one with him and Grogu. 
but I'm surprised um, that Grogu doesn't look more mature because I thought wasn't it wasn't he supposed to be? I don't know. I, I guess maybe not. Well, no, like they 50. age. He's like 53. I was gonna say they age very slow. Yeah, he's, yeah. Like, he's it's gonna like, take a very long for them time. Is like 100 to 200. I'm pretty sure. Like they're kind of like teenage, like or like beginning of teenage era would be like 100 to somewhere in that range. I can't remember exactly the breakdown, but. Because it hasn't even been. If you look up Star the, Wars Encyclopedia, it'll tell you. <laughs> in the timeline, it hasn't been that long, right? Like, oh, yeah, no. It's only yeah, been yeah, maybe a year, six months. Yeah, yeah that's what a I'm year, saying. Whatever, yeah. So, it's like, not going to be that long. It, I, he, he wouldn't have aged too much, but I feel like maybe if they continue on um, and do something else, maybe they'll do an age gap and it'll maybe give us an older Mando mm -hmm. and then an older like teenage version of Grogu. Right. And I feel like that would be the way to go with it to show them both aging and then maybe coming to copes with that Mando won't be there forever. He's going to live this long, yeah. long life. I feel like that'd be the way they go in like a fourth season. Probably. Because like Grogu is going to live on in this in their universe for a very long time, I feel like they're going to have him age, you would think. and yeah. I, I I really hope so. Like that's it, it, it would be the yeah. smartest one of the smartest decisions they would make. Like everyone loves him, uh, he can have such character development. Like again, like you said, could you imagine if we get a fucking Mando Jedi? fucking Grogu, like in armor and everything, all Mandalorian out, but he's got the dark oh, saber. I... Like, come on! Dude, you know I do. You know Dude, I do. come on! <laughs> no like, that would be tits. I want that so bad. You know I already want you. I want that more than anything in the world. I'm, yeah, 100%. I'm telling you. What are your thoughts? That would be the greatest Noah? thing ever. It would li literally... No, um, I, I'm excited. the The posters look good. They just, I just want to be next Thursday already, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait a minute. Here now, here's something that's very interesting. What? Huh? And on Favreau as how Marvel inspired the Mandalorian and time jump between the Book of Boba Fett and Season 3. How much of a time jump are we talking about? I don't know. Okay, so the M MCU fans are talking to, another, to one another. If you go look on YouTube or you go into social media, there are discussion groups and videos where people are are filling each other in, in on things. So there's a lot of thought put into the interpretation of what's presented. Hmm. And I was really amazed at how... Hold on. This is... A, let me see. Do we think... Is Moff... Well, I, I just want to see what the... I, I just want to see how far it is. Is Moff Gideon dead? Do we, Do you think we see him at all again? I'm trying to remember. Because Carlos San... What was his name? Carlos? Why can't I remember if Moth Gideon... Carlos... John, okay, Carlos. okay. So it said on... He went to... He, Anna. What's that? Yeah, Moth Gideon's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Okay. He's alive? Okay. okay. I, hope we, I hope we see him this yeah, They're, de this they're not good. John Carlos. Come on. Yeah, John Carlos. That's yeah. what it was. So it says... Yeah, they're not getting rid of him. Um, it said he went on to confirm that the new season will include recaps of the events of Book of Boba Fett for those who may be a bit behind, and that some time has pa passed since then to re him reconnect him. saying okay. this. Uh, and thanks to Disney Plus, you can go back to watch certain episodes, and we're also going to have some recaps that we put together for people who are maybe more casual viewers who want to be brought up to speed after two years and remind them where the characters were. But Grogu has developed a lot, and now time has even passed since the Book of Boba Fett and since he trained with Luke. So 
as you will see, his force powers have gotten great. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Fuck That's yeah. my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. So two years. It's been two years since the end of Book of Boba Fett. Okay. That's my girl Katie Sackhoff, too. She's a beast. Oh, hell yeah, she is. Um, yeah, this well, I, the reason I like her so much is because she voiced she voiced her. Yeah, d- dude, that's a great show. She vo- uh, voiced her in Clone Wars, and then even the grief of uh, Carl Weathers. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, she that's was really Burger cool. Team. That's why. Yeah, oh, that's, that's he, really he cool. promised her. Yeah, he promised her that she would be uh, live action if he ever did. I mean, it, as so. she should. She yeah. did it great. Yeah. Yeah, no, she well, she was in Battlestar Galactica. She was like uh, one of the badass characters from Battlestar Galactica. So he always wanted to make her live action. He just never got a chance to. Now he finally did. Yeah, I like that shot of him, man. He looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, he looks good. Yeah. For his <laughs> age, <laughs> hell yeah. He Carl Weathers looks good, dude. Yeah, Carl Weathers looks good. Who, who was his character again? Um, He was the guy uh the clan leader who gave them all their bounties oh okay that's right on the the planet they were on in the first i wonder what role he's going to play unless he's in a bunch of recaps he's the best friend he yeah i was gonna say like kind of it's like the dude who like took care of him for a while he runs the the bounty hunter guild on his planet he runs okay I wouldn't say took care of him, he but like the they guild. helped each other. You know, he he ran the guild. But yeah, uh, that's first a great season. Shot. Yeah. Because. Yeah. So has anyone else got any other? Uh, all right, guys. Anything, anything else you guys else want to you touch want to on then? I think we covered it all tonight. Um, <laughs> we didn't have, didn't have much content. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Bad Batch, give us more. Yeah. Give us more. But guess what? Soon enough, we're just not going to care because Mandalorian is coming out, and that's going to take everything uh, else. Yeah, going. Mandalorian comes out next week, and I just I can't imagine I'm going to watch Bad Batch over the, over that so. until they give us I'm enough sure to I'll care watch about. It, but just yeah. Not. Not like. Yeah, I, I mean, will watch it, but. Yeah. It'll be more like I'll watch it when I get to it. And um, hopefully next week is a like, banger episode for Bad Batch. Yeah, but I'm not staying knows. up. I will find out probably about 9.30 then. 9, 9.30. <laughs> and I will not be... I can tell you that. I'm sorry, guys, but I just won't be doing that. So... I I will maybe get to it Thursday on Wednesday. I Mandalorian is and how far I want to talk oh, about. Oh no, Ahsoka. Mandalorian yeah. is coming out. Oh, the and the gonna Mandalorian be being about. awesome and Grogu being awesome and yeah. That's probably all we'll talk about once. I have happens. a lot of things to say about them even before I see it. We could have did forty five minutes on the Mandalorian tonight. And I could have I could have filled that time. There's, there's I know you <laughs> could have. I could have trust me. Time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I think we've about. All right, guys. Yeah, no. Let's get out of here. Thanks, um, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys, so much. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you guys at Noah. Uh, on this channel, and yeah. on sometimes on our Friday channels, yeah. and Sunday on the weekly roundup. Hell yeah! All right. You can uh, find here, me on our channels. I am on Wednesdays with Jedi Academy, the Sunday show. I pop in on the Friday show. Any reactions? Padawan Frito on Twitch now and on um, Instagram. And you can catch me live streaming my game just about any time I can. Something we, we I, decided to add to the channel. He. Yeah, I, I've been, it's, I, it's, yeah, it's been it's great, all, and I've been I've been loving it, and I think we're gonna do potentially maybe I'm gonna do a game show for us and do maybe some reviews and maybe play some 
games I don't normally play and do some stuff like that, but we'll see. Stay tuned. It's a possibility. All right, guys, you guys can find me at Twitter on Jedi, at Jedi Master Tuck. You can find me in the Facebook groups, uh, Multiverse Geekdom and the Benverse. You can find me here pretty much every day on one of the on, well, any shows we have going on. Um, also, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we are over 200 now, uh, but we are still trying to get to 1,000, guys. So please hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it for us. Uh, We will see you guys next week. And as always, may the force be with you. May the force be with you. May the Schwartz be with you.